Threshold's vision for the Docklands Media Precinct is for a hub of activity which spans beyond the learning environment. It is a space where learning, knowledge, culture, industry and academia meet and are celebrated, and where the environment is able to provide a new and different experience that cannot be replaced by an entirely online learning environment. Where the integration of the outdoor open environment and the threshold between indoor and outdoor is integral to the building's function, and the integration between public and private, industry and student, internal and external is pushed beyond the boundaries of the typical university typology. Threshold seeks to test these boundaries and integrate new and emerging technology and experiences in a deep, inseparable way from the physical environment, emphasizing the human interaction, the mingling of students, public, tutors, industry, in a way, curated way which fosters and distributes learning beyond the boundaries of a classroom or lecture hall. The concept at the core of the project is the multiple primary planes. These planes all have varying approaches to access, program and porosity. These key points define how the spaces are shaped and who they are tailored for. How the building engages with the spectrum of users of the building, the people, public, private, industry, student and faculty, has been carefully curated to create catered conditions which provoke specific senses of entrance in order to invite into the building. It also more easily identifies a hierarchy of program and access to disperse confusion. The rooftop drive-in, an open plaza at the top of the building, is entirely open to the sky and is the first point of contact for pedestrians and visitors. The ground floor takes a secondary role. Contrary to typical convention, it acts not as an initial public interface in space, but as semi-public. Contained within the ground floor plane is an open courtyard-like space. The built form which surrounds this courtyard is highly porous and holds a variety of open, informal learning spaces which cater to many different disciplines. The interior first floor is a more normative or typical plane. This area is the most private plane of the building. It holds the bulk of the program, but contains many areas where program converges, providing greater flexibility and merging of programs. The public stairs on the south side of the building are prioritized as the grandest point of entry. This is where the new users of the building, the public and industry will first engage with the building. The stairs lead to a public rooftop drive-in. The rooftop is a civic gesture, central to the function of the building and designed to be the most warm and welcoming environment. Contained within the rooftop is a number of public meeting rooms, learning spaces and gathering spaces. The roof gives a plaza-like feeling. The openness and flexibility provided gives opportunities for events, gatherings, public viewings, exhibitions of student works, and industry expos. Threshold breaks down barriers which separate the internal and external condition. Nearly half the site is outdoors, but the entirety of the space is utilized as a curated, flexible learning environment. The internal courtyard is filled with moments of opportunity built into the constructed form, and they become utilised as learning programs. An isolated chunk analysis of this ground floor reveals the overlay from the circulation symbionts experiment and how it divides up the space determining the layout and structure of the room. This concept stems from a symbiotic relationship found from the airport terminal typology, 
where the program, typically shops, are attached to the circulation and vie against its neighbours to draw the attention of the people passing by. In the project, this materialises as the program opening and exhibiting into the circulation and beginning to merge and blend into these spaces. What results is a highly porous ground floor, where what is internal and what is external isn't clearly defined. This leads to a more free-feeling ground floor unrestricted by solid walls. In this space, a flexible program emerges, and the circulation between these spaces is clear. The flexibility from this layout allows it to be a learning space not only for the media precinct, but for students from other RMIT schools, and as a co-working space for industry or the public, encouraging cross-pollination and distribution of learning. The upper level program, contained within forms from the Topside Wharf typological experiment, is open to the sky. This gives another life to the building through the movement of light. The view out of the first floor programs gives access to sunlight, a view into the courtyard, and across the courtyard into other programs. The fort-like corners of the building's edge provides a sense of resistance and mass. This contrasts against the porous centres. The patination of these two conditions creates this concept of resistance versus porosity, a sense of funneling and entrance, similar in concept to an arch, to draw pedestrians and students into the building. As a major draw point directly integrated into the media precinct is a public mixed reality space, the MR Cafe. This is a space which provides an opportunity for students of the media precinct to showcase the work they created in the rooms above directly to the public. At night, this Tron-esque theme spills out into the street. The cafe is open 24-7 and provides a destination point for the building after typical open hours, ensuring the building has a sense of always being inhabited. <laughs> 